my choice to choose whoever I want as a running mate, Tinubu says. APC presidential flag bearer Bola Tinubu says he was exercising his fundamental human rights when he chose Borno State Governor and fellow Muslim Kashim Shatema as his running mate for the 2023 elections. Finally, he said it. People are mentioning why would he do that. And I'm like, why can't he? I mean, it makes people, we, we start to you know, suspect people when, you know, it's like he's made the decision. What else do you want him to do? It's like everyone wants him to change it. Like, why should he change it? You're not the one deciding for him. You don't know the parameters as to understand as to why he chose him. And again, Tinubu is not foolish. There is no way that, you know, he's been in politics for this long. He most likely knows the strategy, strategies to, to, you know, to use the, the strings to pull. And if he wants to win, you know, if you can assume that he wants to win, I'm sure he won't do anything to sabotage his chances of winning. If we're in the assumption that he wants to win. So, everyone literally is saying, oh, Tinubu should you not know, change this. It's very bad for APC. He's chosen. What do you want it to do? So, it's not a thing where you, you, you look a bit... Mm, you start to question your intentions because how bad do you want a party to be in office? Because, again, it's like this is a decision. If this party is not giving what you want, it's a simple. You just look elsewhere. But it's now... Oh, is it the party that you really want to be in office because it's the party? Then what does that do for you? Because it seems, you know, it really gives desperation when people are saying, you know, how can this happen? And, you know, we've seen examples of um, APC members resigning. I, and it's simple. I mean, there's, they're members of the party. So if members of the party can resign because the party is not giving them what they want, who are you? It's just simple. You just have to change your interest somewhere else. It's as simple as that. So whether you think... The decision that he's made will, will guarantee a bad outcome is your opinion. But if you're still depending on the party and you still want that party to be there, and because the vice presidential candidate can change things, you know, you're trying to change that um, that factor so they can win, then that, that's your prerogative. But you're going to end up wasting your time because now Tinubu is out here saying, why are you infringing on my fundamental human rights as to who I choose to be my running partner? To be his running mate. So do you now see? So you can't you can't force him. Now he's like he's complaining. Because how how big is the pressure that he feels his rights are being infringed upon? Now, in his words, he states, There is no traditional way of selection of a running mate. It is by prerogative. There's no there's so much thinking that goes into it. Mr. Tilibu said, Can you work with this individual? I see the capacity. I see, I see the temperament. I see the vision for the mission at hand. And I find him very suitable for that. So I picked him. His name has been submitted. The agreement is that North East should be produced. So I recommended and picked Kashim Shetima. That is very, that is known to be very qualified. Has a temperament and commitment loyal to the party. Patriotism dictates that he is very patriotic. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, he, he, a factor here that he's literally just stated is loyalty, not capacity and competence. Patriotism dictates that he is very patriotic. Kashim Shatema has been nominated. His name is with INEC, Tlebu said. Wow. Member of the APC Christian Caucus in a communique rejected by the Tinubu Shatima candidature predicting <clears throat> calamity for the ruling party in the manner of 1993 presidential election where the Abiola Kingibe's victory was cut short by a military junta. That the current Nigerian government and political atmosphere is very different from what occurred in 1993 Therefore, a Muslim Muslim ticket is unacceptable. Hmm. <clears throat> it doesn't take the smarts to know that Abdullah Kingbe victory turned out to be Peric victory, as there was never a president Abiola or vice president Kingbe 
Is that what we want? A repeat of 2023? Hmm. People's Gazette exclusively reported that the state security service in a secret memo <clears throat> to President Mahmoud Buhari warned that Mr. Tinubu's choice of running mate would trigger a sectarian crisis that would destabilize Nigeria. Oh, yeah, that's true. The DSS actually sent, was it, they sent four different reports, actually, um, detailing how much damage and destabilization this, you know, this combination would cause. And, you know, my analysis on that was, was I it was giving suspicions, of course, because, you know, the DSS has never really, we've not heard they put, you know, for, four different reports on the NSAS protest. I don't think they've given, you know, four different reports on, you know, atrocities committed in the Southeast. So my my impression was that, okay, fine, you know, it shows that you, you work closely with the present government and you may be affected by the outcome so severely that now are you trying to give the impression that you're doing your job by predicting the calamity that is impending if um Shetima goes through and, that, and that's what I was thinking but um yes in this case as I said now he himself has come to say it and I think Tinubu should also see it if he's never gonna see this but like you know this is a sign that Tinubu should see this as the fact that even in his own party he's not trusted trusted in terms of capacity because imagine you making a decision and you know you being almost head of the party you know being a strong member with a lot of stake everyone is going ballistic literally people are saying this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong I mean, they're not even afraid to express it and you have some members resigning. Now, Tinubu should then think, is this the kind of people I want to work with? Not, again, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that as a leader, you should not listen to your subordinates. Or for example, if people tell you that something is wrong, you should not listen to them. But what I'm saying is the theories of Tinubu being incompetent due to age or whatever reason may come to play here whereby, you know, things that he i mean we've never seen we've never seen such i mean for somebody who's made a decision within a political party with so much stake even not to be disrespectful but even you know you tell low-ranking members are resigning and expressing their thought everyone is like why would you do that you really shot yourself in the foot why because it was a shocking move and at the end of the day his name has been submitted maybe they could change it but what it has done for sure definitely is put their name in 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 the scene they were the thing don't get me wrong but it was very much peter b and now when they were in the scene the the narrative was pretty much peter b at the center and you know apc and pdp revolving around them throwing comments towards the towards the labor party i mean they still are right now so i guess tactically to also put themselves in the space not just as a byproduct of another news, but as the origin of a new conversation or of a new story. I think if that was their tactic, they've done that perfectly well. Um, again, if Tinubu decides to change his um, VP, you know, well played by him. Maybe Kashim Shaitima might not have been his first choice. We never really know. But I think,